What's going on YouTube, Geosnowdite here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about a jailbreak that has been released by Joseph Shenton for the iOS 10.0 to iOS 11.1.2. So a very, very huge gap in here, a very huge uh, support. But we have to talk about it because it's not entirely complete for the moment. It's It has parts that are working and it has parts that are not. So let's talk about it. Um, normally, I didn't want to make a video about it until it was like completely stable. But since a lot of you are telling me about it, it means that a lot of you are searching it and a lot of you are trying it and using it. So it's better to tell you what's going on with it before you do something wrong. Okay, so what is this project? It's called Coffee and it's a jailbreak for iOS 10.0 to 10.3.3 and iOS 11.0 to iOS 11.1.2. So um, as you can see, it has quite a lot of devices supported on quite a lot of firmwares. Now, I have been uh, going back and forth with Joseph uh, Shenton, who is the developer behind this, and um, he told me that the iOS 10.x part is working uh, quite normally, but still there are things to be uh, to be fixed. The mobile substrate, though, is not working, which is very important. You can see here he tells me the substrate doesn't work. Um, the tweaks that do not require a substrate, for example, dark messages, work. Uh, Cydia starts, but only on 10.x, it doesn't start on 11.x for the moment, as it has to be updated, but um, it's very important because it's a very, very big step forward. We're talking 64-bit devices in here. Now, it has been released as a beta for the moment. Um, it's not clickbait, the title. It has been released, and you can download it in here on this GitHub um, website in here. You can download Coffee iOS 10 to iOS 11.1.2 jailbreak beta. Now, uh, this has been made by this dude in here. They're actually working together, uh, this guy and Joseph Shinton, and it's it's pretty much based on this source code in here. Now, uh, Joseph Shinton hasn't created a jailbreak in the past, but since this is actually on uh, on GitHub as open source, you can check it out. And if you are not trusting the IPA, but you still want to try it because you're either a developer or you know what you're doing, then you can compile the source code yourself and try to uh, deploy it to the device. Or you can, of course, try to take a look at the code and understand what's going on. Now, this is based upon a, a couple of exploits. It's based upon Vortex for 64-bit, Vortex for 32-bit, used by um, Timstar in his jailbreak in uh, Helix. Async Wake, uh, there are a couple of Async Wake forks by now. Uh, the one created by Stake29, Ninja Prone, Jan Beer, and probably many others. And the KPP list by Xerob, which is very important because KPP has to be defeated at some point. Or at least you need something to work around it. Anyways, uh, Coffee itself is based upon Vortex and Async Wake, you can say that. And this is important because it is a jailbreak that installs Cydia, at least on iOS 10.x to 10.3.3 64-bit. It now installs Cydia, it works to install tweaks that are not dependent on the mobile substrate, but um, as I said, if you do not know what you are doing, please do not install this for the moment. I know a lot of you are seeing this IPA in here, this website has already, you know, been shared across Twitter quite a lot, so a lot of you probably know about coffee by now and um, it's important do not try this unless you are aware of the consequences uh, you can break your system due to this and not because Joseph made an, a mistake but because it's very unstable and Cydia doesn't work as intended for the moment because the mobile substrate itself is not working. Now you're going to ask me, okay, who the hell should fix the substrate? Well, um, this is pretty much Thorik's job. The community would probably jump into it and try to fix the substrate, but the substrate itself is not public domain. The substrate is closed source, and this means that only Thorik can fix that. Yes, Cydia can be fixed because Cydia itself, no, Cydia installer, is actually open source, which means that you're able to take the source code, take a look at it, improve it, and so on. But the mobile substrate is not, and this has to be fixed in order for most of the tweaks to work. So um, yes, the tweaks that do not require a mobile substrate to be installed or to, to exist 
are working. For example, here, dark messages says Joseph. But those that are requiring the mobile substrate, and, and that is pretty much most of them, are not working. So why I'm presenting this jailbreak? Well, it's been released in beta format, and uh, the most important part for the moment is to gather the offsets. Um, since it's based upon quite a lot of exploits, for example, Vortex and Async, you need to have the offsets and um, every iOS version has different offsets. Every device has different offsets on different iOS versions. So you have to find those and you have to put them in the application. So if you know what you're doing and you're trying this application, you're trying Coffee Jailbreak, you can tell Joseph or you can open an issue in here if you have problems with it, if it doesn't start, or if it says that the offsets are not correct, or if you get any any sort of error, you can open an issue in here, and he will, of course, take a look at it. It says in here, quote, uh, coffee beta 0 0.2, uh, he puts the link, please tell me if your device doesn't work, however, do not say it repeatedly. Now, this means that he's actively working on it. It's a step forward since it installs Cydia on iOS 10.x, but that's as far as we can go for the moment. For iOS 11.x and 11.0 to 11.1.2, it's unfortunate, but we need to wait for Thoric to continue working on Cydia and to finish you know, um, porting or updating Cydia and Mobile Substrate for iOS 11. When that will come, both Coffee and Liber iOS and many other forks that, you know, are jailbreaks but are, are incomplete jailbreaks will probably be updated, including probably Topanga, created by uh, Cheesecake, which is Abraham uh, Mastery. So it's very important to not try this unless you know what you're doing. But if you want to try it and if you want to help with developing it, you want to help with offsets and stuff like that, you can try it. Just make sure you do not screw something up. And if you're not able to understand parts at least of the code, you're probably better off staying out of it for the moment until it gets released uh, with proper substrate and stuff like that. But yes, it has been released in beta format, which is very important, is a big step forward. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget subscribe to stay updated. I will keep you updated with anything related to jailbreak. And uh, till the next time, I'm GSNow signing out.